Hello there and welcome to another great video game ideas not used podcast, GVGINU for short. This is the first regular podcast that will be featured on YouTube and only YouTube alone other than the redo podcast that I just did. Um, what I wanted to talk about, as you have already read the subject title, is a Sonic R remake. I mean, a lot of people have probably said the same thing as I have. And are probably going to say the same thing as I will. But, I think Sega should go back and redo the game. And I'm not talking about Sonic Riders. I'm I'm not really too happy with the concept of Sonic on a snowboard or any vehicle of any kind when he's supposed to be running. That's the thing we want to see him do. Why not let him do that? So, that's, what, that's where I'm coming from with that. But, um... I'm just thinking about a lot of stuff. I was looking back at some things that I liked about Sonic R, which if they remake the game, call it Sonic Racing. No need to leave it just R. Make it Sonic Racing. That way people can differentiate between the original and the remake very easily. But um I really thought that me I actually enjoyed the game. I mean, I know that there are a lot of people who didn't and still don't. But I personally was actually happy with it. I mean, at least when I played it on the Sega Saturn, when when I well, I still have my Saturn and, my, and that game. But I haven't played them in a long time. Um, but I think it would be a good idea to remake that game, literally redo it from beginning to end they will they could keep the original courses that they did the original i think it's five or six courses it's probably five if my mind is saying five they can go back and keep like they can keep the original courses but what they would have to do with the older ones is rebuild them and make them longer like make them more lengthy to suit the update as well as the fact that they would have to make all of the characters a lot faster than they were before especially Sonic, Knuckles, Tails and Amy would definitely have to come out of that car that she was in in Sonic R and actually be on foot running it's not like she's a slow character she's actually quite fast near Sonic's speed at as far as I remember is I'm thinking about Thinking about Sonic Battle on the GP, GP, ah, GP, GBA, Game Boy Advance, where she was actually the third fastest character in the game behind Sonic and Shadow. So, I mean, that's, to me, if they're going to make her that fast in that, then they need to do something with her to showcase her speed. Like, and that, in my mind, is a perfect way to do it. Go back, remake Sonic R. And give the characters their speed back. <laughs> Which was taken from them in recent Sonic games. And this would be a good way for Sega to actually go back and reintroduce the characters into the series. As well as bring in newer characters. And just saying they could go back and take take every character that was in Sonic R. Which was Sonic, Knuckles, Tails, Amy, Robotnik or Eggman. Whichever one you want to call him. Metal Sonic, Metal Knuckles, Tails Doll, and the Egg Bot. I think that's what it was called. Egg Bot or Egg Robot. And Super Sonic. Bring all of them back. We'll also put in Shadow, Blaze, Silver. And if they put Silver in, he cannot be as slow as he was in Sonic 2006. Once he picks up his full running speed, he should transition to like his telekinesis and flying with it like he did in the cutscene which made him look so extremely fast but then you get to play the game and he is slow as all fuck so <laughs> don't do that but they could also put in oh, um, Rouge and oh, and um, Cream the Rabbit Omega I think yeah Omega or Gamma no Gamma was Sonic adventure Omega is after that <laughs> I'm sitting here jumping back and forth in thoughts but uh, 
they could bring those characters all into the game and like like I was thinking they could actually make varying paths they could make one path that all of the characters can actually take and then varying paths that fits the different play styles of the different characters that way they could it would be various ways to actually play the game and then when they you actually play through it the chaos emeralds could be actually hidden in different and better places and it would actually be a good idea to sort of like include even characters from the comic series like i said it would just it's just in my mind that that would be something that makes sense like characters from the comic series um characters that were actually in Sonic the Fighters or I can't remember the, the 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 other name for that game right this moment there are so many characters in Sonic's universe and in his worlds that it would be a very astounding thing to say put 30 plus Sonic characters in a single game and with like characters like I said like Blaze the Cat and Scourge you could actually put in also their versions of the Chaos Emeralds and make those also collectible as well. And also have in the red rings and things like like Things that have become staples in Sonic, whether it be in a game or in this comic series or cartoons. Just stuff that we all know and that we're familiar with in a way. That way it would, it would actually make it worth it to actually sit and play the games like because you don't want I don't wouldn't want just a simple remake I want it remade and rebuilt to be better than what it was if they make a Sonic game where all the characters have their their true speed and ability and it's a racing game and like as much as Sonic runs why aren't there more Sonic and racing games that have him running on foot not in a car it just makes more sense that way because that's how Sonic is. I, I've i never understood why Sega wanted to kind of drift away from that. If Sonic is all about speed, racing is perfect for him as long as he's on foot. I mean, yeah, the other stuff, it has its novelty, but it, eh, it gets a little... Hmm, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> I can't even think of the word I'm looking for right now. But it feels to me like it, it pulls the character away from what he originally is. Which is supposed to be all about speed. So let's give him his speed. That's what I would want to do. Give him his speed. And give him a situation in the game where he can utilize his speed in the right way. And yes, the games that they have been coming out with so far have been nice. And that's great and all. But I would love to see Sonic R remade and redone just sort of like the way I'm talking about. And they could easily go back and even go to like recent games like Sonic Adventure 2 and just like take some of the set the courses they have set up in that and just make them more, I guess, safe so that people don't actually die when they're playing it. But they can actually run through the courses and see different things like from Sonic Adventure, even in Sonic the Hedgehog from 2006. Even though the game itself was shitty, it had some pretty decent levels. <laughs> it, it, they looked nice. They were aesthetically pleasing. They had very well put together soundtracks. And, and it, that's what I would like to see. Like go back to all of this, the recent Sonic games and like pick one or two levels from those games. And make a course out of them. That way you had like so that the game isn't so short. If they had say like like I said thirty something Sonic characters in a game, and then maybe like eighteen to twenty courses, it would make the game more worth playing. It would even be wonderful if they could put in a track editor, but it's not something I would expect them to do, especially. Being that Sega's probably going to want to have their own stuff set up the way they want it. But it's just, a, it was it's a fond thought to have. And that's pretty much where I'm sitting at with that. The other thing I wanted to talk about with Sonic is 
The Lost World. Now, I've I actually like the trailer for the game. <laughs> it looks really interesting. The first, the second I saw it, the first thing that came to mind was Sonic Extreme for the Sega Saturn, the game that got canceled. It looks like they took took a similar engine to that and started, or either either they took that engine as a base and worked from there, or they made an engine that that's really similar to that. And a lot of people drew conclusions, at least from what I've seen in YouTube comments. They drew drew it to being very similar to Super Mario Galaxy. Which, yes, it does kind of look like that. And that is true. But what you have to think about, though, is if you go back and think it over, Sonic Extreme would have been out well before Super Mario Galaxy would have hit the market. So Super Mario Galaxy is sort of like Mario's rendition version of what Sonic Extreme should have been, just at a slower pace. Whereas I'm figuring Sonic the Lost World would retain the speed that it's supposed to have, and Sonic is supposed to have all these new moves now. So I, would, I really want to see what becomes of this game. And it, to me, it's good to, for Nintendo that they, that they got into that agreement with Sega and they have that as an exclusive. And I understand why so many people are angry, but you have to also think about this. Exclusive titles to a company actually drives competition. You have to think back to the days of the Sega Genesis and the Super Nintendo. They often had a lot of games that were very similar, but they weren't exactly the same. Case in point, I can go back and point out a few different games, a, a few of them that come to mind. The first one is, nin, is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Tournament Fighters. The game on the Super Nintendo and the game on the Sega Genesis were vastly different, even though they shared the same name. Also, another example was Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4, Hyperstone Heist, and then... <laughs> oh gosh, I mixed them up. Turtles in Time was on Super Nintendo. Hyperstone Heist was on Sega Genesis. The games were similar, but they weren't exactly the same. They didn't share the same premise. But, most people wanted to play both of them, so they had to have the Super Nintendo and the Sega Genesis. And I know I loved both of those games, and still do, honestly. I mean, and then there's another example, which I think Sega got chipped in this turnaround, but, um, mm, not Lethal Enforcers, because that's a Sega game, but, um, damn it, I can't remember the game. It was a cowboy game, and it was one, it's something not, I honestly like it a lot, but I can't remember the name of it right now. But Nintendo got the better version of that game. They weren't exactly the same. But Nintendo... <laughs> Gosh, why can't I remember that game? I know it's right there on the tip of my tongue and I can't remember it at all. And it's like, why? I know there were the two cowboys with the dual pistols. And then you had the had the, the, the cowboy and the, the Mexican guy that had the shotguns. And I'm, why can't I remember the name of this game? <laughs> Sunset Riders, there we go. Oh gosh, Sunset Riders. Yeah, Super N N Nintendo got the better deal out of that one. I mean, Sega got gypped on that bitch. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> it, I don't know why it took me so long to remember that. But, m case in point, if companies decide that they want to do exclusives for another company then why are you people so angry they wouldn't be so angry if the if sega decided that they were going to do exclusive sonic games for sony and i doubt that they would be angry if they were going to do it for microsoft it's just what they decided to do maybe they see more possibilities in using nintendo's console for the games that they want to make at current which is why they decided that they were going to do the exclusives for Nintendo. That's all there is to it. There's, it's not like there's a whole lot we can do to argue back and forth with them. That was their choice. So let, let's let it be what it be what it is, and see how things pan out. Yeah, there are going to be plenty of people who decide, hey, I don't want to get a Nintendo Wii, so I'm just going to miss out on that game. Fine, you miss out on that game. That's all there is to it. 
Or if you have a friend that has one, you can play it on their system if they let you. But either way, I, I'm looking at Sonic Lost World and I'm hoping that this leads to them actually going back and reintroducing characters back into the series. I mean, Sonic 4 Episode 2, we got we finally got Tails back behind Sonic after a while. <laughs> I, I understand why Sega was a little, little worried about putting any other characters in a game, especially after Sonic 2006. You can like the game if you want, but to me, it was a shitty game, especially from a technical standpoint. There were just so many things that did not work in that game that should have worked, and that's why I don't like it. So, dislike me for disliking it, but... Honestly, you can like it. I'm not going to think any less of you, lesser of you, but you shouldn't think any lesser of me because I don't like it. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's pretty much all I had to say. And I've just sit, sat here rambling on. But um, yeah, I hope that the next coming Sonic game is worth it. I really do. Because I really want to see what Sega is going to do with it. <clears throat> I mean, it seems like they're doing what they can to kind of fix the series up. So it would be a good idea to do this. And like I said, I would love to see a Sonic R remake made of Sonic Racing. But either way, whatever they do with the series, I'm going to support them somewhat as long as they don't butcher the fuck out of it like they did <laughs> with a few games. So, thank you for listening in. I hope you enjoyed hearing me like just lose my crap because I couldn't remember Sunset Riders. Uh, <laughs> and I also hope that you enjoy listening to me any other time, even with my just like my normal videos. Uh, but I want you to keep your eyes up for more of my stuff, and thank you for listening. And until then.